Good morning. How are you today? Well, it's a uh, paradise today. Uh, overcast temperature is uh, uh, in the 60s, uh, almost chilly, but uh, but it's really nice. The heat is uh, turning up in New York for Governor Cuomo. Uh, apparently, he's uh, been found uh, wanting in the area of uh, his work environment, which is considered hostile, and any inappropriate uh, indiscretions, uh, touching and saying things to women, both on and off the job. This is going to open up a, a lot of problems for him, because this is not the only accusation they have against him. And the state legislature will be looking at him for purposes of deciding whether or not uh, they want to impeach him. Uh, you may remember there was questions about was there any fooling around with the statistics about the, uh, the, the virus. And then there was also a concern about uh, how a book was written. So, you know, it's New York politics as usual. Going across the pond to uh, Afghanistan, it may not surprise us that the Taliban is uh, making moves to uh, cement its control of Afghanistan. Um, you know, this is old thing. If you uh, if you break it, you own it. And uh, the United States did that in Afghanistan. I think you can't you can't pretend to control a political occupation. And uh, I'm not sure we ever should have been in that position, but we put ourselves in that position. And so some people are going to suffer. Sure, we brought back the interpreters, but what other kind of suffering is going to happen because we mismanaged what we were doing in Afghanistan? Um, now, coming back, uh, I'm interested in, uh, I think it was uh, Senator Johnson made some statement about plainly the FBI knew more uh, than uh, they let on. Well, I, I agree with that, but uh, the senator thinks that that proves that there were people having nothing to do with the White House or the Hill who were involved in an action against the government. Well, how, do you, how do you paint a picture like that? The objective in coming to D.C., to the Capitol, was on the call of Trump, then president these guys. But I, I do believe that more was known. And you may remember that there were reports from Norfolk, Virginia, saying, what are you doing? You know, things are coming on here. And then somehow or other, our domestic terrorism group in D.C. didn't know what to do with the information, didn't act upon it. You, you can't ignore the fact that we had a president who was leaning on his attorney general to pretend that there was fraud in the election when there was no evidence of it. So uh, that's another advance on that side. Oh, the Hill is stumbling around trying to figure out how to do, um, I guess, internal improvements. They used to call them when these were even more controversial than they are now. And uh, the internal improvements are a $1 trillion bill, and people are falling all over themselves with amendments to put it in place. But, you know, this all becomes uh, kabuki theater, like I've said before, if we can't get the House and the Senate to agree on it. And the House is out until, I don't know, sometime in mid-September. So no matter what the Senate does, nothing's going to happen on the House side. And I think maybe uh, the Speaker of the House has decided not a lot's going to happen on the Senate side. Because consider what has to happen for the House to be excited about it. Not only do they have to pass the coalition Republican Democratic bipartisan bill. But then the Democrats have to keep their own in line to pass the $3.5 trillion bill separate and apart as a budget resolution only requiring a majority. Well, these two things uh, are unlikely to happen. And the House by the Speaker has said that unless the second bill, the $3.5 trillion bill, isn't coming their way, well, that first bill ain't going anywhere either. And I think what that does is sets up the Republicans to say, see, we were there for a bipartisan bill, but they didn't want that. So I, I think the Democrats have outsmarted themselves a little bit. And I want to be proven wrong because uh, I just can't stand the fact that on the Senate and House side, the Republicans are going to outmaneuver us, even though we have the edge on them 
in both places. It's pretty terrible. Now, in the category of eviction, you got to wonder how we how we bobbled that, meaning that as I speak, people are no longer protected by the moratorium on evictions. And there's something else that's really disturbing. We had, uh, what was it, uh, 60... We had uh, we got 6.5 million people uh, could be evicted. Number one, we passed le legislation so that there could be something like 47 billion dollars, and I, I think that's accurate, for the purposes of landlord and tenant subsidies. Of that money, only I think three billion has been distributed. Why is that? Well, uh, I can let the, the feds off a little bit because they're giving the money to the states and the states are not dispersing the money to the people who need it. In addition, the Supreme Court has basically said, you know, you're good to the end of July, but if you do want anything more, Congress should act and Congress isn't acting. I, I don't know. The gang that can't shoot straight. What's a, what's a happy uh, bill, we, happy thing we can talk about? Well, Simone Biles at the Olympics, having suffered a setback in a very complicated demonstration on the on the uh, the gymnast uh, competition, she came back to perform on the balancing beam, and uh, she didn't get first or second, but she got bronze. And I think you know it's sort of like getting back on your horse when you're knocked down. Uh, if you don't do it. You may never be able to do it. And there is a pattern of more difficult exercises that a gymnast can do to get them in, in a place so that this uh, situation that she suffered won't happen again. Uh, now, let's see, there's an unhappy story. <laughs> we don't have any much control over it. It is a fact that the moon out there wobbles. Not as much as my hand, maybe, but... And the wobble affects the tides on the earth and that hasn't been a problem but now the water levels are up and so the tides may be worse what's the answer well it ain't a simple one it's again global warming so from gymnasts to wobbles on the moon that's the last i got so have a good day uh tomorrow we'll uh, we'll see what's going on be well. Bye-bye.